In this video, I will explain raster artwork versus vector artwork. I will also help you understand the attributes of each type. I will identify the best uses for each and tell you some of the pitfalls to watch out for. Vector artwork is composed of points, lines, and shapes that can be edited to precise detail. For example, on this flower, we can edit the green parts to be thicker on the edges by just pulling a few nodes. Let's zoom in on the leaf, grab our shape tool, click on the shape, lasso some nodes, drag them out, and our green is thicker. Raster art is made up of pixels, which are small dots of color. A perfect example of a raster image is a photo you take on your smartphone. The image is made up of millions of pixels to form the shapes and colors. This is a close-up visual of how pixels look versus points and nodes. Pixels can be edited, but it takes a lot more effort and skill. The next example of raster versus vector art shows how different the same piece of art can be. Let's zoom in and see why. The vector art is clean with crisp lines and ready to be printed on banners, t-shirts, flyers, and more. It can be enlarged or reduced with no quality loss. So in contrast, this raster image is blurry and low DPI. We can tell this by looking at the status bar details. It shows the information here. This image would only be recommended for screen or web viewing. It would not print well and the quality will only get worse if enlarged. The most common vector file types are CDR, SVG, PDF, EPS, and AI. Some common raster file types are JPEG, PNG, GIF, PSD, and TIFF. The ones with an asterisk can contain both raster and vector in those file types. So if someone gives you a PDF, which is a commonly shared file type, don't assume it's vector. Import it into your software and verify what's inside. People not in the graphics industry are not familiar with vector art and are sometimes the middleman when getting that art file, so always double check it. You can watch our tutorial on analyzing and fixing files for output in the Corel Discovery Center for more information on this topic. In the Corel Draw graphics suite, Corel Draw is primarily a vector art editing program. You can use it to create vector logos, drawings, banners, t shirt designs, stationery, brochures, and much, much more. On the other hand, Corel Photo Paint is also part of the graphics suite, and it is a pixel based software that can be used to modify raster art and its pixels, including photos. Okay, let's recap. Let me give you a few tips to identify vector versus raster again. Vector looks like a coloring book, it's simple shapes, clean lines. And color editing is simple because all you do is click on a shape and change the color. You can enlarge it without losing quality. Versus raster, is any photo is raster. Web images are 99% raster. And if it has lots of colors and shading, it's going to be a raster image. This tree has lots of colors. And this could be vector, but most of the time with lots of shading and lots of colors, it's going to be raster. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this video on YouTube, You'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial and the exercise file to follow along. You will also find other helpful tutorials on CorelDRAW.